friends welcome back today we have another question from mathematics uh, it can be good uh, useful for you know iit advanced and iit mains as well so let us see the question so fx is a polynomial function and this statement is given so it is polynomial that means you can consider it as differentiable and continuous right and this statement is given f dash x f double dash x and limit x tending to 1 fx upon x minus 1 is finite and what is the value we need to find out that so first of all understand when we put x is equal to 1 denominator becomes zero that means numerator has also to become zero because it cannot be otherwise be finite right so f of 1 is zero that means that is the only option and it can be finite so we have f of 1 is equal to zero otherwise the question cannot exist this is the thing so if that is the case we can do derivative up and below using the operator rule so what do we have we have limit x tending to 1 f dash x upon 1 right so now this denominator is 1 now that means your answer is f dash 1 this is the correct answer you put x equal to 1 so we have two things now first of all f of 1 is 0 and f dash of 1 is the final answer we need to find this so from this let us see if fx is polynomial If we do the derivative, the degree by degree, right, and the highest degree after adding all the three uh, parts is x to the power five. That means f x is of the power of x to the power five. That is the highest power. And f dash x will be of the power of x to the power four. And similarly, f double dash x will be uh, you know three and so on, right? The degrees will decrease. Okay. So highest degree is of f x, and that is of x to the power five. This information also we are able to get here. so let us do the derivative here if we do the derivative here what do we have we have f dash 1 f dash x f dash x plus me f double dash x okay acha what we can do we can also put 1 in the equation so we have f of 1 which is 0 plus me f dash 1 plus f double dash 1 f double dash 1 Is equal to 65. So f dash 1 plus f double dash 1 is equal to 65. This is another thing that we know from the question. We need to eliminate this. Once we eliminate this, we have the answer because this is the answer. So let us do the derivative here. Now we can also see that the maximum power of x is x to the power 5. Yeah, with no coefficient. No coefficient is there. Either you can consider f x as a polynomial a one plus a two x plus a three exponent to so on, but that will be a lengthy method, right? So we will use that trick. Uh, we can say that the fifth derivative, so fifth derivative of x to the power five, will be what? It will be five factorial. That means one twenty. We can say this. This is the trick in this question. You have to understand this because the maximum power of f x is x to the power 5 that means the derivative will be 5 x to the power 4 again derivative is 5 into 4 into x to the power 3 up to so on so the fifth derivative will give you this yeah so let us do the derivative once we have f triple dash x is equal to 5 x to the power 4 okay let us do a derivative again so f double dash x f triple dash x f 4 times x is equal to how much? 20 x cube. Let us do the derivative again. F triple dash x, f 4 times x, f 5 times x is equal to how much? 60 x cube. Let us subtract these equations. And what we have? This gets cancelled. This gets cancelled. And what do we get? We get f 1 2 3 4 5. X minus f double dash x is how much? 60 x cube. So that is 60 x cube minus 20 x cube, right? And we put x is equal to one. Now the question is solved. We put x equal to one. We have one, two, three, four, five, one minus f double dash one is equal to how much? 40. From and this value we know already. One forty. So from here we can have f double dash one is how much? One twenty minus this that means eighty. Okay. 
So n double dash one is eighty. We put the value here, and we have n dash one as minus fifteen. This is the final answer because that was the limit. We needed to find out, right? So I hope the question is clear. Very good question. Simple tricks were involved that we need to identify, right? And uh, so that's it for today. So if you have doubts, you can write in the comments. You can connect with me and share this video with all your friends. We'll meet in the next class with another good question. Okay.